Hello there. This is Monday, June the 13th. Today we're going to read, as we continue in the words of Solomon's wisdom, Proverbs 16 through 18 and Romans 15. In Proverbs 16 through 18, if you've been reading Proverbs with us every day, you know by now that these are short, uh, kind of pithy statements of wisdom. And they they're not always connected verse to verse to verse. They're kind of interconnected, disconnected a little bit. Uh, in Proverbs 16, there's one verse, one line in verse 18. It says, pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. You've probably heard this before. Pride goes before destruction. We quote it like that. Oftentimes, you might have heard this. I want to illustrate for you just a little bit how this, how this works. When I was younger, I was, uh, as a high school student, as a 16-year-old, I got my first job. I had my first job. I worked at Chick-fil-A right here in Joplin, Missouri, in the mall. And I worked there uh, a couple nights a week, six hours a week. It wasn't very much, making minimum wage, which was a whole lot less back then, but that's another story. I was working there not very much doing these things. And uh, slowly, as I worked there, my 16-year-old year, my 17-year-old year, uh, 18, graduated high school, went into college, and, and I worked more and more and more. And I went from being just a, a, a low man on the totem pole to a little more authority, a little more responsibility, became an assistant manager, moved up through things. And, and um, eventually, I was in charge of a lot of things around the store on a regular basis. This is what I did not understand. I was young, I was naive. I was arrogant, I was very, very proud. And I wanted everybody to know that I was in charge, that I was the best of everything. And so what I began to do was to lead uh, my own little private version of a coup, if you will. And I wanted to make sure that every other employee knew that I was the guy to go to for everything, even above the owner of the store, the, the boss of things. And so I was a jerk, I was, I was mean, I was proud, I, it, just, it wasn't good at all. And what happened was I ended up going on a, a mission trip, a full summer long mission trip. I was serving the kingdom of God. I left the country, I went to serve this mission trip and I came back from this mission trip and I, I went and asked for my job back at the end of the summer. And I, I was invited to a conversation at my boss's home where I went and had a, a little conversation with him about why he should hire me back because he wasn't entirely sure he wanted me back on the team. And we talked about things like, pride about all these things and how I needed to adjust the way that I interacted with my fellow employees in, in the store. And I, of course, was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Because at the time, my pride told me I knew everything. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. He hired me back in. And it was, I don't know, months later, I don't know, uh, almost a year later, somewhere in there. Things went right back to how they had been. I got a little bit better at sneaking around, almost like we read David and Absalom, where Absalom was stealing the hearts of the people. I began doing the same thing. I was very proud of my role and myself. And eventually it came to the point where uh, I ended up quitting my job moments before I got fired from my job, just so you know. Uh, a couple of things happened and uh, I got really angry. And I remember driving and flying back across town really fast, back to the restaurant, to the store there in the mall. And I went in and I was fully committed. I was gonna go and fight my boss because of how wrong he had been and how right I was. And, you know, it was all pride. I learned the hard way. Pride goes before destruction. A haughty spirit before a fall. If you wanna have healthy relationships, one simple thing, you've got to kill your pride. This is why in the kingdom of God, the greatest will be the servant of all. It's so that we don't get a big head about how great we are. The first will be the last, so we don't get a big head about how much more successful we are. The kingdom of God flips everything upside down. Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. But if you want to lead people to know Jesus, you've got to be humble in the way you live. If you find yourself jumping from job to job to job, where you have relational difficulties at every job, and you're complaining about your horrible bosses and terrible coworkers at every job and how everybody's against you, maybe, 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 actually the problem is your pride. If you find yourself angry 
because no one does things that you want them to do. Maybe it's your pride speaking. If you want to have healthy relationships, if you want to be a, a disciple who makes disciples today, consider your pride and the role it has played in sabotaging your mission, your purpose. And let your pride be sacrificed at the feet of Jesus, laid before him, handed over and surrendered so he can teach you how to be humble, so you can be the servant of all, so you can be the last and not the first. The greatest job I ever had, outside of ministry capacity, the greatest job I ever had was in between two ministries. One ministry, uh, the church had had some issues, not related to me necessarily, but I lived through the middle of the church split. And I, in the middle of two ministry jobs, I needed something to do to pay the bills. And I got a job as a high school janitor. And I was a janitor at high school uh, where some of the students from one of my previous ministries attended high school. And every day I got to walk into the bathrooms and scrub the toilets and the urinals and the sinks. And I got to clean the classrooms and the hallways. And I get to push dust mops around while experiencing the proud jeers of high school students laughing, snickering, and mocking that guy, just the janitor over there. I learned what it was like to serve, to be the, the greatest who's serving and not the greatest who's lording over people. And I still say that the six months I worked as a high school janitor changed my view of leading people, and serving people. I want to encourage you today. Consider how you can get down your knees, roll your sleeves up, put on some gloves maybe, and serve somebody else. Because in that service, you will learn how to have healthy relationships and how to make disciples. I hope today you will excise pride from your life and you will embrace humility and you'll see the goodness of God, His kingdom come, His will be done in your life. Until I see you again, you are sent.